Uh, I'm Lukas Sedlak from Traktor Chelyabinsk. Uh, this is Hockey Travelers Club. Uh, it's uh, one of the bigger, uh, bigger towns in Czech Republic, but compared to Russian cities, it's pretty small. Um, we have around 100,000 people, so you, you kind of get everything what you need, you know, like good food, uh, stuff like that, but it's still kind of small city. Um, it's uh, very historical, like lots of, lots of nice buildings, uh, nice square, so the downtown is it's really nice. Uh, we have two rivers going through the town, so yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a really nice city, I think. Are you the local celebrity in Czeske Budijovice? No, I don't think I don't think many people knows me because uh, I I left uh, I left when I was 18, uh, so I never played uh, pro hockey back home in Czech Republic. So I don't think lots of people know me there. Uh, how can you describe people who live there? Uh, I don't know, kind of calm, calm people, a little introvert. Nobody really speak to each other. Uh, so it's kind of boring city nowadays, I think. But uh, we have, uh, you know, during the summer when uh, when all the all the people come come visit, you know, all the younger people come from Prague uh, back home. Uh, I think it's more fun than during the school year because everybody kind of leaves. How long does it take uh, to get to Prague from your city? Uh, it's around one and a half hour by car, so pretty close. Yeah, I was uh, 18 and uh, I spent there two years. Mm -hmm. What was the main uh, complexity then? Language? Yeah, for sure language, because uh, I knew some English when I was going to Canada, but uh, as I said, it was French town, so nobody really speak English there, so... Only French? Yeah, only French. Uh, so that was the hardest part. Uh, I had to kind of learn French, which I got not too bad, but I forgot a lot of it. Uh, I could understand pretty well. Uh, probably the same as uh, now in Russian I can understand, but uh, it's, it's harder to speak, obviously. I have one more guy from Finland, so I could speak English to him, and then uh, a couple of Canadian guys spoke English as well, so it, it wasn't that bad in the, in the arena with the guys and coaches. Uh, we, we could speak English, but outside of the arena, when I would go somewhere, uh, they didn't really like people who speak English, so it was kind of hard. What was your impressions about Canada? Mm, what did you like or maybe not? Uh, there was nothing else than hockey, so uh, people were really passionate about it. Uh, lots of fans during the games, everybody would ask about the games and uh, people would recognize you on the streets. They would be asking you, how are you? Um, you know, t they wanted to talk about the game a little bit, stuff like that. So I, I really enjoyed it there. and. Uh, I live in the family, they were super nice people. That was not the best city, I think. Uh, kind of scary to be honest. Uh, I arrived there and uh, people warned me that uh, I shouldn't leave uh, my hotel room after dark because it could be dangerous, stuff like that. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of drugs, uh, lots of guns uh, on the street. So. Um, I guess it was kind of a dangerous city, uh, especially downtown in some bad areas as well. Did you see your own eyes, uh, drugs? Uh... Yeah, I saw, I saw a couple exchanges. Uh, you, can, you would drive on the main street and you would look to the alley and you could see how people exchange in drugs and stuff like that. Uh, what's the difference between Canada and the USA? Uh, I, think, I think the people and the lifestyle. Uh, I really like the people in Canada. Uh, US was a little bit different. I think they focus more on uh, work, and it's more hectic. Uh, it's more f like it's faster. Everything's faster. People are, um, you know, in Canada, everybody was honest and nice to you. Uh, US is a little bit different. Uh, Should I visit uh, Springfield as a tourist? Can I see uh, something there? Or uh, there is basketball. Shouldn't waste my time. No, there is basketball Hall of Fame. So that's I think main uh, main thing in Springfield. Otherwise, uh, I don't think there is uh, there is much uh, to see you to. I like Cleveland a little bit more uh, than Springfield. Obviously, it was bigger city, uh, more stuff to do. Um, is it uh, so dangerous as... Uh... <laughs> well, not as in Springfield, but I guess uh, 
there is always bad, uh, bad part. Every city has b uh, better and worse parts. So obviously you don't want to go to the bad parts of the city. Um, but uh, I think I stayed, uh, I stayed like 30 minutes from Cleveland because our practice arena was a little bit farther away. So I would stay by the practice arena and just drive to Cleveland for the games. So um, my, neighborhood, <laughs> my neighborhood was nice. It was lots of parks. Uh, uh, I liked it there. Yeah, I was really surprised how, how clean and main, maintained uh, the city is. Uh, the downtown is really nice. Uh, you know, you, you won't see anything bad on the city, uh, on the streets. It's really clean. Uh, it's almost like one of the best, uh, I think, uh, cities for families. Uh, yeah, even, even the guys who retired from hockey, they, they stayed in Columbus or in the area around Columbus. Uh, I do like um, maybe some entertainment museums, uh, theaters or something like that. Yeah, sometimes, but during the season, uh, I don't like to spend too much time, you know, going to the museum because it's, for me, lots of walking and I get tired really fast. Uh, so I don't enjoy that. <laughs> but uh, during the summer, I, uh, I go with my girlfriend sometimes somewhere. I like it here. Uh, we live uh, in Leso Parkovaya. There's plenty of restaurants, stuff like that. I was really surprised how, how good food is there. Yeah, plenty of restaurants actually. Uh, I was really surprised and uh, even my girlfriend says one of the restaurant's best food she ever had. What did you know about uh, Chilabins before you came here? <laughs> not much, not much actually. Uh, when, I signed, when I signed my contract here, I Googled some stuff, so obviously tanks and um, meteor, meteorites, stuff like that, but uh, I didn't know much. Where would you like to live? Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably back home in Czech Republic. But also, I when I visited uh, Corsica, was really nice. Uh, it's close to Italy and France. Uh, I really liked it there. Oh, where's the best food? That's hard. I like Czech food, so I would I wouldn't give up that. But I, as I said, Corsica had almost everything I needed. Where's the best girls? <laughs> That's a tricky question. <laughs> um, well, obviously, I think Czech girls, Russian girls, and maybe Ukrainian. Uh, what was your best trip? Yeah, as I said, probably uh, Corsica. I, I loved it there. It's a really nice sea. It's nice nature, lots of forests, uh, lots of hills. So you can go biking, you can be on the beach, you can do lots of stuff there.